welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan today kicks off the official first series of the war within the official oob dungeons and hopefully the raids coming up in the future uh today i'm joined here with hero he was the one to get this bounty on getting out of the rookery so it's awesome to have him here with me doing the oob um hello everyone before we got out here we just did a video on how to escape and get out of the rookery so if you want to know how to do that obviously you can join the atn membership it's only 2.99 a month and uh, i'll be uploading the escape video there so the atn members will be able to uh see that now uh let's get right into the video um i have never been out here this is my first time i've only watched hero do it a little bit uh, there are a ton of death walls from what I've seen and Blizzard has gotten really smart with the War Within content <laughs> So we got to be careful where we're going, but apparently there is I'm just gonna say it now I mean basically everything's out here, right? So yeah, like this is another um, <clears throat> Just the you basically can see the whole world out here. I mean everything from uh kazalgar uh we haven't got over to hollow fall yet i don't know if that exists you actually can't oh you um, oh you can't okay no because of the dead walls they put dead, dead walls in place over there the way you go in um mm. so they surrounded that entire thing and covered that entire thing with that wall is it possible to get into the ringing deeps do we know or is that also death wall uh i believe like that that all is connected with each other so you first gotta go underground you can uh, then go from hello fall to the ring deeps uh okay um step. hey give me no, a, i gotta uh, all right let's keep going and let's go explore the rookery i'm excited we're out of bounds um i've never been out here this is all gonna be new like i said so uh where should we go first you think what would be a good place to start um well there's a fun little thing going on in like one of the tunnels of this city okay um, there's usually a golem, I believe it is, in this city that protects, like, a room. Why it protects this room, I'm still unsure, but you're normally unable to go into that room because it just ports you back. Um, and stuns you for a little bit. Mm, okay. So you're normally unable to access that, but because we're OB, we can go into it. And we were we were talking about this earlier a little bit, but I do got to give props to Blizzard. They did a really beautiful job on this city they did, and they, they expansion did. so far. Um, Aesthetic wise, they did a really good job. We'll see if it lives up to the hype or not. <laughs> That's going to be the question. Um, but from what I've seen so far, the game is absolutely gorgeous. The, the graphics, everything they've done with the architecture and so I'm, I'm very excited. I think the expansion is going to be great. I'm excited that this kicking off the trilogy. So hopefully this gives some good. Uh, hopefully it kicks off well. So I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see. So normally there's like a firewall here and like a golden standing like right here. And you cannot access this. You cannot go in it. Mm. But now you can. And even I, I did check it out already. Um, there's nothing here usually except for what we see now. There's just a golem protecting it. So I wonder which if... I found really interesting. Oh, can you sit in the chairs? Oh, you can. Um, yeah. I wonder if this is gonna be like the uh, the underground fight club in the deep run tram kind of thing, where you have to get, or maybe part of a quest, or you gotta have so much reputation to get in here for some reason. I don't know. Definitely gonna maybe. be interesting to find out. It might be for a quest, honestly. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Um, yeah, that, this is a pretty cool place to chill out. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a screenshot of the doorway here, and uh, definitely probably gonna use that for the thumbnail. Cool. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us that. I mean, that's great. I mean, that's see, it's already cool getting out of bounds. The things that you can explore. Yeah. And it leaves a lot of room for you to explore stuff that you sometimes can um then and these being tunnels a... end up here Ooh, this is awesome okay so it does end up wow i like the um the market type vibe out here 
Yeah. I love the random golf club sitting over here. <laughs> There's a lot of realms, like the little details in this expansion. Also a lot of detail about this OB, the mailboxes actually work. Oh, oh yeah, you can send mail. Huh. That's really neat to see. Anything in the- and The signs also work properly, so if you hover over, for example, this sign, it does actually give you a name. Madam Goya's Curiosities. Ah, cool. Okay. I love the posters. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, they did put a lot of details in the aesthetics here. Jeez. Like, everything looks awesome. Especially I... with the new alchemy house. I can show you that. They put yeah. in a lot of... Yeah, let's go like, check it out. Particles and whatnot. So as you guys can uh, see, there is a ton of stuff out here. Um, they keep basically the whole map outside the rookery so far. So this is where the throne smoke stuff is, for example. Ah. Awesome. Okay, I like it. <clears throat> Let's keep going this way. As you guys can tell, just everything from the architecture to the island to just this place is massive. And if you think this is big, you guys should get underground. Oh man. Hero can testify for that. <laughs> I most definitely can. That place is massive. So, a uh, fun fact about this little house here. There's an NPC standing here, in the beta at least. That you could talk to and okay. then uh, shop with, and you can get a few free battle pets. Oh, um, awesome! From them, so that's pretty <clears throat> neat. Assuming you know, this is supposed to be a pet shop. Respect. Yeah, and later on it will cost currency, but for now in the beta they are um, free. Awesome. Okay. And the scribing house, they also put a little more detail in than they usually do. Usually the scribing house is just like a room full of maps, stuff like that. Like scrolls and whatnot. Hmm. And now, uh, they actually made that a bit different. So, here you have the inscription house. This is where you can learn inscription and stuff. I like the fact that they, if you wait here and do a little bit and look at the scroll, um, it will actually start doing something. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that's really I thought awesome. that was really neat. That, that's... Uh, you don't see that often. No. Same with the alchemy house. The alchemy house, they put a lot of, like, particles and whatnot with the potions. Wow, yeah, they really went into detail with these things. And for being out of bounds, like... You're not even supposed to see this in the instance, though, so, or the dungeon. No. But they keep it all yeah. here. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. We're not just bound to this city. We can leave the city all we want. Mm. We can let's, explore. Let's do it. Uh, all, you can't go to the parts where you go down. There, there's your death place. You're just surrounded by death walls. Do not attempt it. You will die. Okay. So you guys don't, uh, there is a ton of death walls here. Um, so far we haven't mapped out where they're all at, unfortunately, but, um, <clears throat> we will eventually. I'm definitely working on that one. Yeah. I found a lot of them already and a lot of them are pretty linear. So. What's funny about the death walls here though, is like, they're not normal death walls. They just like. Kind of suck you up and then teleport you back to the beginning, right? Yep, and then Strange. you die. <laughs> That's funny. They've gotten a little more fancier. Also, uh, they don't like caves in general. Um, they don't like you going into caves on this uh, OOB. 
most of the caves that I've gone into ended up being dead walls. Mm. So, also, can we mount up out here, or is there a certain place we have no. to go? You will. Uh, that's actually a fun fact that I was about to tell. Right now, you can infernal strike just fine, right? Yeah. Also, do not touch water in this OB. Okay. Now you can <clears throat> infernal strike all you want and whatnot. Like, no problem at all, right? That's until you go get out here. Your mount will light up like you can mount up. Oh, but yeah, you when you try it, it says that ground mounts are not allowed here. Huh. If you try to use your infernal strike now, you can't either. Oh, that's weird. Huh. I wonder what that's um, all about. The moment you walk over here, you can use it just fine again. Strange. Very strange. I wonder why they would but just take that away. That's why it's a good thing that we have like four fans for retreats. Yeah, that makes it really nice. <laughs> you actually can make quite some distance with it. Um, so, can you go underground, do you know, yet, in here? Well, most, like, like I said, most caves that I've been into ended up de being dead walls, so. Mm, okay. <clears throat> um, I'm still mapping that out. So, basically, don't go all the way left, and that will be a death wall. Uh, don't go down the hill, basically, right? Yeah. Okay. To go to the right of us right now. It's also a death wall. Um, yeah, because then you get too close to the forge and stuff again. Hmm. Okay. That makes where sense. Where you go down in, uh, where you go down to like the ring deeps and stuff like that. But when you do that, the game does not like you going there or anywhere near it. That's so awesome. How quickly that happens. Excuse me, I gotta keep muting my mic. I'm still sick here, so unfortunately. It's all soon. <clears throat> so I'm like coughing and my nose is all going still. <laughs> you guys probably heard that from my last video. We just finished up the uh, Siege of Ogremar. So I'm gonna be posting part three. Uh, hmm. Which I already have of this video. Forgot about that. <laughs> uh, so you guys will be able to... Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Part 3 was a lot of fun to film. This will definitely kick off our War Within series, so... <sighs> Dang, how far did this go back? This goes the entire island. Jeez. The entire island is here. Again, do not touch water. Um, you will crash, freeze your game. Oh, and you can't, you can't infernal strike again out here. Huh. Nope. I'm out of range. But you can still use your venture retreat, and if you switch packs, actually, you can uh, use Fell Rush just fine. I do love the skybox in this one. Very pretty. Mm, just a standard skybox, in my opinion. So, besides seeing the island, have you found anything crazy out here yet? Anything worth seeing? With of uh, um, like untexturedness or random no, cubes? No, but I haven't explored even half of the island yet. Ah, okay. So well, maybe. I'm, I might still be able to. Maybe other people that have done this can like let us know about it. Oh. I'm super excited to see. Look at that in the distance. You see that the mountain in the distance over there? Mm -hmm. That looks like be nothing loaded in with all the blue coming down. Or not such as part of the map. You I think that's just part of the map. Huh. I think so too. I haven't been to that island yet. Or is that where we first showed up? Oh yeah, that is just part of the map. I can open the map and see it. Okay. I was thinking maybe that was part of like the OOB, but uh, I'm sure there's stuff out here. We just haven't found it yet. 
I mean, there's a lot to explore and cover, so... Unfortunately, we can't mount up, which really sucks. I mean, we're demon hunters, we're fast enough. Uh, if you try to go into the... the that place over there where you follow Brand and will DC you usually? Nope. Oh. Ah. So you can walk in here. And usually you're stuck behind a wall there. And until you go in. Do anything. Ah, okay. So there's nothing actually over there. No, not really. So you can go out again. So if you guys remember, uh, this is where you actually first do your first, uh, like, follower dungeon or whatever with Brand. Delves. Yeah, the delves, thank you. And uh, this is your first one. Normally there's a wall blocking you off and you have to click on it and you'll queue up by yourself and go in. But as you can tell, there's nothing actually here. So it's kind of neat. So yeah, and like I said, caves are a bit dangerous. So do watch out with that. Uh, what do you mean by uh, caves are dangerous? You just walk in and then it'll de DC it or? It DCs or kills so far. Hmm, okay. And ha yeah. what do you recommend people with the DC? How do you handle that in the beta? Because you can't do a Blizzard support ticket, right? No, um, basically you gotta keep logging back in and at some point, at least with the Rookery, I don't know if this is with everything, but um, in my experience, I just kept logging back in and at some point it just supported me back to the start of the dungeon oh huh. okay that's good to know yeah there's a cave over so, there yeah. definitely gonna avoid that yeah do not go in there i actually tested that cave itself already <laughs> that cave specifically it's good to that know that cave is a dc cave hmm You have this building, like the lo little lookouts. And everything is here, which I really like. But just uh, normally, this would be a place with mobs and stuff. Because right now, there's nothing that you could just, you know, enjoy the view, enjoy the little details that they've put here without having things trying to kill you. Yeah. I like the overgrown mushrooms and it's kind of cool they definitely made this uh, place um, feel alive they, they really did they put a lot of detail in stuff and I, I really like that i do too feels like they're really trying so that's good well you know chris Robson <laughs> is back so yeah he's... i'm definitely a big fan of that you're definitely not going to get another shadowlands that's for sure well i hope so <laughs> Well, while we're saying that, the Jailer is probably coming back because the second you go in the War Within Beta start, uh -huh. you actually get the cutscene of the Jailer mm. um, talking. As long as we don't get another Shadowlands expansion, I think we're happy. Yeah. But uh, you're Jailer's taking the way awesome. around, I see. Oh, where are you going up? Yeah, I went up. I was just looking around. Look at how I am. Up I am. I went up back there. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see you. I gotta switch my talents because uh, the Colonel Strike's not working uh, for me. The uh, forward pencil retreats, I've gotten really good at them. Really consistent, so I back there. I just did four venture streets and then got up. But yeah, like I said, do watch out for water, they are not forgiving. Yeah, water is usually non forgiving in OBs for sure. Now it would be awesome if they gave you an extra fell rush charge. That would be pretty awesome. I mean, we're already way too mobile, in my opinion. <laughs> I wish that would be cool, but... It would make our life easier, don't get me wrong, but... It 
sucks that we have to walk on foot <laughs> everywhere. Unfortunately. Yeah, especially with the like mount up button being lit up, but you just can't. Blizzard well, messing with us. Oh, you guys want to mount out? I don't think so. But we're going to make it seem like you can. See how it is, Blizzard? I'll play your game. I mean, there's definitely still going to be one column being like, oh yeah, but you can mount up. It's Look lit at up. That. Look at that. You can. Eventual retreat. That thing is awesome. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Blizzard, for making us more mobile than we already are. Appreciate it. Especially by saying that we have two, but now we have four. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. Well, it's definitely <laughs> a bug. I did report it. I don't know. I don't think Is Blizzard knows what they're thinking half time, anyways. No, they do not. I did report it. That that is definitely a bug. Like going out of bounds is one thing, but this is definitely just a bug with like what they meant. Because we're not supposed to have four. We're supposed to have two. Yeah. Um. Just another warning to everybody. Uh, if you decide to ever do oob you know do it at your own risk <laughs> i will just let you know um and i know a lot of you know that already but i just always want to put that out there you know just because things don't happen don't mean they won't so i'll just leave it as that but but have fun doing it it's a lot of fun to see things oh now we're getting to some fog up here ah so that's where we landed okay i see where we're at mm -hmm. now well, a little bit, yeah. We're definitely higher up right now. Yeah, I could see the beach that we came in on in the intro. Awesome. Yeah. And up here you have the mm. little lightning altar. Which is pretty neat. Yeah, wow, this is cool. Look at this stone mountain. This thing's awesome. No, no. Now, there is a cave here that I haven't explored yet, so I don't know if you want to go try this cave out with me. Yeah, let's go for it. See how what happens. Just a little cave. Nothing. We don't get killed or deceited appears. So that's good. I wonder what quest is going to be up here. I'm very curious. It's a really awesome place. We shall see in time. Well, this has been a lot of fun. And uh, I love that. We can explore everywhere. Now, is there anywhere you haven't gone or tested yet? Uh, well, there's multiple dungeons and stuff, but other than that, um, I have gone around the island at least once, like just a circle, just walking, seeing if everything is actually here. But other than that, I haven't really done that much. Um, so people can still find things that I haven't. This is awesome. Well... Is there anywhere else you want to go? Not in particular. Cool, I I'd guess. say for the people that do get out here, have fun exploring. Yeah, and uh, definitely find some things. And if you guys see anything, awesome. You know, if you haven't joined the ATN Discord, definitely join. We're always in there hanging out, posting screenshots. You can share your finds in there and uh, come have fun. As we're building an OOB community in there, um, it's a lot of fun. And uh, we're just talking about World of Warcraft, games, memes, music, and people just hang out there and have a good time. So, oh, thank you as well. All right. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the first ever video of the War Within. Um, I'm excited to start the series of going through the dungeons and the raids. Hopefully we can find a lot more discoveries. Um, obviously, as you can see, they keep a lot outside their maps. Um, this is just for the Rookery. I, I haven't seen the other ones yet. I'm excited to see what those are going to hold. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this one, there's not too much to see, but it is just neat to walk around the island, have it empty, and get to places you normally can't. Um, 
but so uh, you know we haven't explored everywhere yet and uh, i'm assuming you know we'll be able to map it out a lot better so but anyways guys um as always my name is nathan this is hero and uh we will uh see you on the next video take care yeah